try something <laughs> was an idea my mom and I had because um, yeah things need to be used by the use by dates I have a thing about that so anyway before I do that and I don't even know if that's gonna work I'm gonna be honest I just wanted to show you this I found this at Sainsbury's online so it's an Escafe gold sachets that I really like but it's cinnamon cinnamon bun latte oh my god I was actually looking to see if they had the gingerbread latte because they usually bring that out at Christmas but unfortunately not so this is what oh, I don't know if you can see that it is like super foamy on top it is really nice actually so what I'm going to do is I have Bailey's extra thick cream and I bought a bunch of these because they're only out at Christmas and I just didn't get into the mince pies and stuff like I do normally or the Christmas cake or anything like that and now that's used by the fourth and I have two days and basically two of these to use so we had an idea I have a little bit of soft scoop left so what we're going to do it's not that much I'll show you and I mean it is soft scoop anyway what we're going to do is we're going to put the Baileys into the ice cream mix it around etc and then hopefully refreeze it I'm just gonna like oops sorry lift it up a bit because it is a little bit hard to like mix at the moment we're gonna refreeze it and hopefully have a really nice Baileys ice cream I don't know if that's gonna work but we're gonna try if worse comes to worse I have some Baileys I can add to it all right so here goes nothing what's the worst that can happen right nothing because the thing was we weren't quite sure whether you can just freeze cream because you use cream and ice cream so we were assuming you could freeze it um, but then I was like if I just freeze it as it is then I don't know what the sense of that is anyway let's mix this in and see how we go <laughs> really really creamy because it's extra thick cream I did add in a little bit of Bailey's because I was a little bit worried that it's too creamy but let's see what happens so I'm gonna pop that back in the freezer and then hopefully have some nice Bailey's ice cream see my problem is that the mince pies on the top here are used by today the ones on the bottom are used by the 18th and then I have here these ones that are used by the 18th and then I have Christmas cake that is used by the 31st of January and the 2nd of February which is fine and I think the panettone lasts for ages but I just because I bought so much thinking my parents would be here and everything but then obviously they weren't and then I got stuck with all this and I feel like it's such a waste I also have some in the freezer so I'm thinking of freezing these ones as well and then yeah I don't know sorry about my uh, general appearance my hair I don't know if you can see that I sprayed some of this Palmer's coconut oil leave-in conditioner in my hair because I don't know I like to do it every once in a while I don't use a lot of products in my hair that's the one thing that I don't like do a lot with I try not to wash it as often but I can't get away with it as much here as I did in Australia so you know the last three days actually I have washed it quite a lot and I slept with my hair out last night and I think that just makes it like oilier or greasier or whatever I don't know because you're with the pillow and you're rubbing your hair around and everything so I think I'm just gonna continue to tie it up when I go to sleep but anyway um, I just wanted to give you a progress report so I went to check on the ice cream I took it out of the freezer I tried a bit and it was so creamy um, I'm not really good with say like carbonara and stuff I can't really do creamy things like that I just can't do it I don't like it so I called my mum, expert, she's not an ice cream expert at all, but I called my mum and I was like, it is so creamy. 
I just think that the Bailey's cream this year, usually it's like, you can taste a punch of Bailey's. This one, this year was so, so creamy. And it was more like cream than it was like Bailey's anyway. So, and I did add that Bailey's into the ice cream earlier as well. Um, she suggested adding coffee in there. She said half a cup. I probably did like a third of a cup. Um, I may have put like slightly a little bit too much coffee. It's fine. It was like a teaspoon and a half because I was like, let me try and cut through it with some bitterness of coffee. Anyway, so I took it back out of the freezer because it wasn't completely frozen. Um, it was still quite soft. I put the coffee in there, mixed it all up, made it all smooth again. I did try it and it definitely has a coffee taste now, which is, it's fine because whatever I have it with is going to be sweet anyway, so it'll balance out. Um, popped it back in the freezer. I will try it again tomorrow and see, but yeah, I don't know if this is a fail or not. I wouldn't consider it a complete success. I did contemplate because I had those mince pies, which I ended up putting in the freezer. I contemplated crushing them up and popping them into the ice cream. You know, like we have in Australia, Cold Rock. I think it's Cold Stone in America. I don't even know if they have it here. Where you do like the mix-ins and uh, you can put like M&Ms and stuff in your ice cream. But I didn't because I was like, I don't know what that's going to be like. But anyway, so maybe I should have done that. This is um, ice cream experiment number one. <laughs> so at the moment I have coffee and Bailey's ice cream. I'm not gonna recommend it to people because it's not my favorite, um, but yeah, you have to try these things, right? It's 2021. So I hope you found today's video slightly interesting. I hope you learn from my mistakes and uh, yeah, don't like try it at home. Be adventurous, experiment, do things. Just uh, try to like balance out the flavors, <laughs> like they say. Not so creamy, but other people might 100% love the ice cream the way it was. They might be like, oh my God, it is creamy and delicious. Just not to my taste, anyhow. So I will speak to you guys again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the vlog, please. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and hit the notification bell because I will be trying really, really hard this year to bring you guys good content. So stick with me, please. I promise it's coming. I'll speak to you guys later. Bye guys.